Okay, so for this problem, it says couple money deposits 1700 n months from today and 3400 two n months. Okay, at this rate, calculate the maximum such that we'll have accumulated 6500 five years from today. Okay, so that means that we have to set up an equation equal to 6500 five years from today. So we could set it up in a discounting format, right? So uh, 1700 v to the n plus 3400 v to the 2 n uh, equal to 6500 v to the 5, right? Because it's all monthly and all present value uh, thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 7.2 divided by two, 12 to find our monthly rate. It's going to be 0. 0.6, right? Now, we know that we already have this set up to find n, so let's do 6,500 times 1.006 to the uh, negative fifth. Oh, no. Oh, we have to convert this to monthly thing, too, so we're going to make this 60, because 5 times 12 is 60. So it's to 60. So this is going to equal 4, 5, 3, 9. Dot seven seven six. Now, what's going to happen here is that we see that so, uh, some thing funny is occurring within the exponent. So we're going to move this over to the other side to form something of a quadratic. Because we see a squared here, we could also see that we could set up v to the n to a variable. So let's uh, minus this, and then we'll set it into this new quadratic equation. So I'm going to set v to the n equals uh, x, right? So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to do 3400x squared, because it's v to the 2n plus 1700x minus uh, 453. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use the quadratic formula. So we know that um, a is 3400 so we're going to do so quadratic so it's going to be negative 1700 because it's b right uh uh 1700 and then plus or minus radical b squared right 1700 squared minus 4ac over uh, 2a. Okay, now let's solve. So b squared, so it's going to be 1700 squared, right? Okay, that's a huge number. Minus 4 times 3400 times negative 4534.776. And we're all going to get a huge number of 645. 629. 53.6. Now we're going to take that radical. Six four five six two nine five three dot six, and then we're gonna get eight zero three five point one zero. One zero seven. Now what we're gonna do here is that we have a seventeen hundred at this one, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do negative seventeen hundred plus eighty thirty five dot uh. 107 and we're going to get 6335.107 divided by uh, 2 times 3400, right? So it's going to be 0.9316 as one of our options for x. Another thing is that I could do negative 1700 minus um, 
0.8035.107, which is negative. So we don't want a negative x. So we know that x will equal to 0 0.9316. Now we could find n given the effective of 0.6%. Uh, so we're going to do uh, 1.006 to the negative n equals to 0.9316, right? Now we could do this by doing logarithms. So I'll do negative n ln uh, 1.006 equals to ln uh, 0.9316. And then I could do ln. 0.9316, which is a negative 0 0.070 divided by ln of 1.006, right? Which is a negative 11.84 divided by uh, the negative one from the side. So I get 11.84, right? Now we know that C, D, and E are out. So it says calculate the maximum integral value of N such that the parents will have accumulated at least 6,500 five years from today. Okay, so I guess what we're talk when we're talking about the calculate calculating the maximum integral value, we want to find the minimum value of N, right? So whenever see, we see a problem like this and we're seeing, seeing something like calculate the maximum integral value of n, uh, and we see that this value is in between two, such that it will have accumulated at least 6,500 five years today. So I'm guessing that they're looking for a whole number of the answer that we just found here. So uh, that is why a is the answer.